because we're going to do another one just to show you guys. There's a private track rental. We're gonna take the FD out. We got all this stuff here. We got the slicks. Gil's gonna come with me. And we are picking up the FD from the house. So, we got the other RX-7s in there in the garage and outside. It's an hour and a half away. So, we're a little bit late, but we're still gonna make it. Let's get it loaded. We're all full 85. Now to head to the track. So we were on the way to the track, but as you guys can see, we got some state troopers being dicks to us. They feel like the trailer's unsafe because one tire is bald and it doesn't have an inspection. So they're asking me to drive the car to the track. So I guess they feel like it's safer for me to drive a 800 horsepower car to the track than tow it. Look at how extra they're being. They got me pulling out my FD, leaving the trailer on the side somewhere, whatever. I guess uh, we're still gonna go to the track. I, could, I guess I'm driving the car over there. Showed up so late. This is gonna be a $250 pass that we're about to make. The cops held this down for a while. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna get one pass, but hopefully we get two. Gil's footage and the car popped the wheelie you know that's one reason it broke the axle right there let me see which one it was broke this axle right here let me see show you guys broken broken this one again yeah i don't think it broke two because the diff lets go so it's just one that's like the what we were we didn't want to happen because the trailer's 30 minutes away. So now we have a car that can't drive and no trailer. So, you know, thank you like Virginia State Troopers. I'm pretty sure. We're just gonna hook up strap to the car and, and pull it all the way to the trailer and then load it on the trailer over there. There's really not much we can do. So we're just gonna wing it. If the cop's still there, like, you know, we're just gonna take a different route. So. I need to get home, it's two hours away and we're gonna make this happen. It looks like the, the FD is gonna need axles. All right, we're gonna have Gil pull us to the trailer. I'm about to yank me. Ooh. Actually, we gotta change the plans. Um, there's an event tomorrow and we're just gonna leave the car at the track. It's gonna be gated, so we'll leave the car at the track and what we'll do is we'll bring some axles, some tools, we'll fix it, and we'll drag race it tomorrow. I think that will be the plan. That way we can get a little bit of a redemption. Now we need to hit up Texas, uh, Texas Pride for a trailer. <laughs> See if they can get us rolling again. Bye-bye, FD. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna look for some axles at the shop and bring them for tomorrow then. They'll tell the state trooper we're picking up the trailer again. They wanted us to get it uh, taken out of here on the back of a tow truck. Yeah, I... <laughs> okay. We got an RX-7 to pick up, man. Uh, we, we're back at the track. 
Uh, so they're not gonna let us race because they said they sold too many tickets. So I managed to convince them to let me race. So we're, we're teched and we're in line. It's a long ass line, so it's probably gonna be one pass. It'll probably be around six when we get a pass and hopefully the axle holds up. You know, we changed the axle, the car's driving good now and uh, nothing's changed. I'm gonna leave it how it is and just hope that it actually hooks and goes. Been here for four hours, still haven't made a pass. See, it's tragic. And it's about to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show Brad this out, how it's done. The track's cleaned up. Uh, there was a two car pile up, so that's cleaned up. And we got probably five cars ahead of us. So we're gonna make a pass now. You know, it's either gonna, it's either gonna go or it's gonna break another axle. flawless it's making a lot of power and just the stock axles aren't doing it you know the diff is holding it but the axles aren't we're just gonna have to do something about the rear end but we need to do something before Cletus and cars you know we need a, a trailer so if you know anybody that can hook us up with a trailer let us know and we need a, a rear end for this thing so we can actually turn up the booze so we're gonna load up in our raggedy trailer that the state troopers don't want us to drive and uh, and get it ready for for two weeks from now for Cleus and cars. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look how good of a job I did wiring the trailer. <laughs> call him out. Yo, he needs to change. He needs to change lanes. I'm gonna call him out. Hey, round two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> round two. <laughs> this is the next day. We got the FD back to the shop. So I gotta unload this. Had to push this thing out of the shop. Need to get back to it. Last thing we left was like on the hood. So I'm gonna do some changes on this. Cause when we got it, we got it running like a year ago and it had no brakes, the brake master was bad. You know, it has some leaks on the intake. So I I'm, think I'm, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back to the stock intake get rid of the peripheral ports and just get put a stock intake back on it other than that this car ran and drove 